Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about the structural geology topic 2 that is folds. In last class we have discussed about the faults. Okay. So this is also a part of structural geology in which uh, these uh, mountain building activities during this mountain activities the force responsible are mainly responsible for the generation of these type of structures so these type of faults uh, forces like compressional and tensional forces these forces are responsible for these type of structures so uh, during the mountain building activities or Himalayan or Ojani, these type of uh, structure are formed and these mainly found in the sedimentary type of rocks because sedimentary type, we have already discussed about that, the sedimentary rock formations are the layered rock, they are softer one, that's why they get folded in comparison to uh, some igneous rocks like they are very tough and uh, metamorphic are very tough so they get faulted they are not folded they get ruptured along a plane and they get fault faulted and their dislocation is formed dislocation occurred in mainly igneous and metamorphic rock but in case of folding always we always found that always layer type of layered rock are found in this folding so layered rock are because when the layers are get molded or bend according to the direction of force in this case you can easily recognize that because there is uh, due to the compression the rock get folded right and this is the anatomy of fault you can easily recognize in this or understand in this case and uh, by this diagram when the compression takes place when the um, the shear force or the compressional force acted on a rock formation the rock get folded and due to the high confining pressure and the during this process mountain building activities are formed and uh, these mainly found in sedimentary rocks so what is fold fold is defined as the curvature or a zigzag pattern shown by the rock bed is known as fold or undulation of rock bed is bad is also known as folds right so yeah, where we can uh, uh, compare this fold by the natural fold you can see here this the layer rock get folded in this way and this way and this is a so uh, firstly we have to discuss about the elements of fold what are the elements of fold uh, this is anti climb this is this in this case you can Compare this, NT means up, it is up fold in which the, this one is the youngest layer. This one is the youngest layer. In case this one is the youngest layer, the, the youngest layer is the topmost and oldest layer is the bottom. And just opposite in case of trough or the sink line, the youngest rock will be in the center and the oldest rock will be in the lower side. So it may also be called crust and trough, anticline or syncline having crust and trough, right? So this is known as, and what is axial plane? Axial plane, this one is axial plane. Axial plane means an imaginary plane that divides fold into two equal halves, right? So this is a it is an imaginary, so that's why it is denoted as dotted line, right? The so actual planes are a imaginary plane, but real plane, what? Then this is axis of plane, axis, okay? 
in this case you can also easily recognize that the sloping side of a fold is known as limbs sloping side this is the hinge area where the tension is maximum then axial surface this is axial surface and axial what is axial the fold axis then then here you can uh, describe in this manner first one is the crust this is or anticline crust or anticline trough or syncline uh, both are the synonymous the highest point of anticline is known as crust the lowest point is known as the syncline that is known as trough limb sloping side of a fold is known as limbs or the hands of a fold is known as also limbs then axial plane we have already discussed that an imaginary line that divide plane into two equal halves that is known as axial plane it may be vertical it may be horizontal it may be inclined it depends upon the severity of the fold and the severity of the stress then fold axis the line that cut axial plane and intersect the horizontal plane is known as axis of fold right so this is the major difference between the axis and the axial plane then hinge is the part you have already seen in this in this figure hinge part that is a tensional part more maximum tension in this point that is known as hinge point then we have to classify the folds on the basis of genesis simply uh anticline is a, a part is also and it is a it is a type also anticline anticline is a type of fold also and it is a part of a particular fold is also so when it is a characterized by convex curvature and uh, the limbs are dipping opposite to each other then it is known as anticline fold and fold where the curvature is convex and dipping towards to the center then it is known as syncline right and this is the example when we fold this bed so you can easily recognize that the two is the youngest bed two number bed is the youngest bed and it is in the center and the, the limbs are dipping towards to center that's why they are synclinal fold and the, in this case of anticline the youngest bed bed is the topmost so the oldest bed in the center and dipping our uh, the limbs are dipping away from each other then come to the drag fold drag fold is the fold which is having some minor fold within the, the there is a layer of competent and incompetent layer is found in the nature and, uh, so means uh, incompetent means soft bed and competent means hard bed when these are sand these the one incompetent layer is sandwiched between the two type of competent layer so the competent layer has strength so the 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 force will be transferred to the soft one and the secondary fold will be developed within the incompetent bed then this type of fold is known as drag fold you can hear you can see in this figure drag fold some secondary folds are and dislocation or the movement displacement takes place okay then uh, when we uh, classify fold on the basis of geometry then we have classified fold into symmetrical and asymmetrical fold symmetrical folds are those type of fold which are having equal angle of dip on both side right then they are known as symmetrical fold in case you can easily in the in this figure you can easily understand that these are the because the angle of dip is same both side when the uh, when the severity from the one side came or the force once came from one side the axial plane become inclined so the angle of dip is become different this side is more and this side is less so it become asymmetrical fold and when unidirectional pressure is more so this axial plane become approximately horizontal then it is considered as a then compressional stress from one direction is too much 
and the axial plane become horizontal approximately horizontal then it is known as overturned foot okay these are the figures by this angle of dipping you can easily recognize that then recumbent fold is a type of a typical type of fold in which this is when in this case this is actual plane and uh, uh, angle of dip is same but when this it become asymmetrical then it become it become overturn and last stage is the recumbent when the in case of recumbent fold the axial plane become totally horizontal you can see here the axial plane become totally inverted limb the normal limb become inverted limb in this area and center part is this one this is known as shale and inner part this is arch hinge zone tension is always there and this is the root zone so when 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 this become totally bent right then there is so much classification are there then dome and basin is a, a, a type of you can see in this dome to tombs are the mosque of the tomb and uh, temples tombs are just like a dome and basin when the center point you can see here this is the inward part this is dome in which the in the case of anticline and syncline same point is there youngest bed in the topmost and oldest bed in the center just opposite youngest bed in the center and oldest bed in lower line lower areas so when these bands when the, this this curvature become folded and the, the, the bed become fold in the way of uh, dome then the dipping side is going up uh, away from each other then it is known as dome and with when same pattern and the limbs are dipping uh, towards to each other then it is become basin just like a valley in in the we have already studied in the fault case hmm so on the basis of axial plane we have the, the we have already discussed the inclined fold overturn fold gented fold hmm? open fold close fold when the uh, folding is very less then it is known as old open fold hai na so these are the different type of classification and they all are same but uh, according to number you have to attempt the question and you have to classify the different type of fold uh, folds so uh, if the question become of 10 number then you have to classify on the basis of different bases and if uh, the uh, if this question is came in a two or three marks then you have to uh, discuss the basic concept or the basic uh, types so uh, it depends upon the uh, type of question you have to describe on this way right so uh, the last point is this identification of the fold in the field is uh, uh identification how can you identify the fold in the field uh in must in the most of the area one point is very important when you see the repetition of bed occur when a b c uh, is uh, coming and again a b c is coming so repetition of bed is found in in any particular field that mainly it indicates that this area get folded in the future or the past so in the in the past so uh, due to the repetition it indicates that there is some folding takes place so this much is enough today we will discuss tomorrow the next structure thank you